Hello students, uh, in this uh, week uh, we will discuss about uh, three phase circuits. So uh, first of all uh, we have to know that what is three phase circuits and it is a very interesting circuit and it has uh, particular uh, practical uh, issues uh, on uh, related to our power system, sub uh, subsystems and transmission distribution systems. The three phase circuits are all about in practical purposes of AC circuits. So again I will discuss it from our reference book uh, Matthew and Sadiku and Alexander uh, Fundamental of Circuits 5th edition. So first of all uh, to understand uh, the three phase first of all we have to understand what is phase. So uh, to understand this we have to we have to just uh, look here on the two circuits that are known as a single phase system using two wire type and three wire type. What is three wire and what is two wire? First of all, the phase is a one kind of a source, a single source which has, uh, it is an AC source, it could be a DC source too. It is an AC source here, you can use here. In phase of diagram, so you know it's the AC current has been flowing here. So, in figure 12.1 that depicts a single phase, uh, a single phase, here you can see that single phase, uh, that means it is a ground and it is a positive connections, single phase, two wire type system, it is two uh, wires here and uh, her PP is the RMS magnitude, as we know a phasor diagram and phasor form, we know that is the RMS value. Uh, and uh, the source voltage and phi is the phase that is the phase and we know that is the phase and what is more common in practice that is is a single phase three wire system that is single phase we can got a three wire system too how the three wire system uh, connects if we just uh, connect the voltages in series and have two other uh, loads here there are different loads there's a single load and single voltage so it's a single phase system so if it has uh, two uh, other voltage and each uh, voltage has uh, each uh, loads and that has been connected like this in that scenario there are three wires and also a single phase there will be no phase changes because these two things are parallel to their loads so for example the normal household system is a single phase three wire system in our households, we use a single phase three wire system because the terminal voltages have the same magnitude and the same phase. Uh, and uh, such a system allows the connection both 120 volt and uh, 240 volt appliances. Okay. In our household, we use this kind of uh, systems. So, as I have, say, I have uh, told you earlier, that it is uh, one of the uh, practical issues on alternative current circuits. So in our household systems, we use a single phase and three wire system and the terminal voltages have the same magnitude. So all the loads are in parallel and they get the similar voltage from it. As you can see here, there's a three wire type system, there's two wire, but uh, this, that is have been used in the, uh, used normally in our households. Each uh, load has the same voltages. There's no changes on phase and other things too. So now coming back to the point that we have known about what are the uh, phase phases we'll construct about. But there are uh, two phase systems too. We can also we can also discuss about these things. And uh, what is two phase? This is uh, known as the polyphase system. Circuits or systems which the AC sources operate at the same frequency but at different phases are known in polyphase. That means in households we use uh, 50 Hz in our households, 50 Hz, 220 volt, they, they are very much common to our uh, scenario. So they are known as the polyphase systems, they, uh, they use the same frequency of 50 Hz but they have different AC sources are operating. Here we can see a two phase three wire system. There are two phases VP. Here you can see where the phase changes. The RMS value is same, 
but the phase changes by 90 degree that is 0 degree that is 90 degree so that is completely opposite to this 90 degree and that has also uh, two different uh, loads that means three wire two phase load that is two phase three two phase three wire load but if uh, both are zero degree or 30 degree or anything else both are same so that will be a single phase but there are different uh, phase degrees that determines the different phases so, so two phase three wire system is there and the most important thing that we are awaiting that is a three phase system and how the three phase system really works so so three phase systems are important for at least uh, three reasons first nearly all electric power is generated and uh, distributed in three phase so that is the first uh, that is the first reason that why we use the three phase uh, system next uh, that will be operating in frequency of uh, 60 hertz and in unit, unit sets or 50 hertz in other some of the parts of the world that means in our country we use 50 hertz when one uh, phase or two phase inputs are uh, required they are taken from uh, three phase systems rather than generated independently even when uh, more than three phases are needed such as the aluminium industry or where 48 phases are required for melting purposes it means high voltage they can be provided by manipulating three phases supplied second uh, the instantaneous power in three phase system can be constant not pulsating as we will see in section 12.7 next this result in uniform power transmission and less vibration of three phase machines third for the same amount of power the three phase system is more economical than the single phase system the amount of wire required for the three phase system is less than required for an equivalent single phase system an equivalent single phase system we use certainly three wire or two sorry two wire or uh, three wire systems but here we can use just a four wire system that's a neutral neutral all the neutrals are in same as you can see all the neutrals are in same that means they are on uh, a parallel a parallel phase uh, they have uh, usually uh, different loads to each other but if we divide uh, 360 degree that means a full cycle angle to 3 we get uh, 120 so we have uh, three other phases one is 0 degree other is minus 120 degree and other is plus 120 degree how can we get it uh, we can see by the phase diagram like this that is 0 degree if voltage and current are in same phase 120 degree is like this plus 120 degree and minus 120 degree is like this in the opposite side so there are three opposite sides so uh, that is 120 and uh, that is uh, minus 120 and that is 0 degree and that, that, that and that's why that's why we can uh, we can understand this thing or how the phases are distributed to each other all the neutrals are connected here and all the phases are connected equally to the each of the load so this kind of circuit are known as three phase systems and uh, they are most commonly used because all electric power is generated and distributed in three phase in generator we get three phases electricity so that is the three phase games here came here 